Hello, I'm Emma Hammett, the founder and CEO of First Aid for Life, onlinefirstaid.com, and the author of Burns, Falls and Emergency Calls, the ultimate guide to the prevention and treatment of childhood accidents. Today, I'm going to talk to you about poisoning, how to prevent it, and what to do if um, someone accidentally ingests or is affected by a poison of some sort. So a poison is defined as a substance, a solid, a liquid or a gas, which can cause damage if it enters the body in sufficient quantities. It can be swallowed, it can be breathed in, it can be absorbed through the skin or it can be injected. And it can cause just a local reaction or it can cause a systemic all over reaction. It can result in things like blurred vision, in seizures, acute allergic reaction, anaphylaxis, and some poisons do kill. And the most important thing is to be cautious. So even if the person that has taken the poison appears okay, um, do get them seen quickly. Um, the key obviously is prevention. Uh, make sure that people keep the handbags out of the way. It's amazing what people keep in um, handbags, particularly as we get older. Um, there may well be pills, there may be all sorts of other lethal um, concoctions or um, devices or whatever that um, to an ordinary adult don't seem that frightening at all, but to a child are absolutely fascinating and could prove um, dangerous. So make sure that people coming in keep the handbags safe and out of reach. Um, tablets obviously keep out of reach. Um, those child resistant caps are what they say they're, they're not actually child resistant. Uh, children are often very much better at getting into them than some of the adults. So they may slow them down, but don't rely on them as a deterrent. Um, don't keep things like birth control tablets on your bedside table. Um, because if you're in a habit of doing that and you go and stay somewhere else or if a child comes to stay and they go wandering, they may well find them and they look like sweets. So just be a little bit more mindful about what's left uh, around. Things like button batteries as well, we cover those more with burning, but again with poisons it's, it's worth just thinking about things like that and keeping them well out of reach. Um, household chemicals are an obvious one. Um, any household chemical um, is a really strong alkaline, <clears throat> excuse me, and it will um, end up burning them really badly. So if they um, get hold of those little um, pods of laundry detergent or anything, if they burst, they can end up burning them in their eyes and causing um, burns there. Um, if they swallow them, will cover corrosive burns if you swallow things um, later on as well. Um, tidy up after parties. It's very often um, you, you get to the end of a party and you think, oh, do you know I'm exhausted, I'll do it in the morning. If you've got children or if there are children in the house, the children are likely to be up before you. They will have a jolly good investigation before you get down and you may well find that they have drunk the dregs in the glasses, eaten anything else that they find around and it can be very dangerous. So please don't be tempted if there's children in the house um, to, to leave things out after a party. Um, E-cigarettes, again, um, look after them and keep them out of reach. And keep all medication and um, chemicals in original bottles and ensure the labels are good. Never decant them. Okay, so if somebody, you find someone that has taken something, so maybe it's a child sitting there with a, an empty bottle of Culpol they've got hold of, or some um, tablet, or um, a berry, and they've got the juice around their mouth or whatever. If they seem fine, stay as calm as you can and try and encourage them to let you know what's happened. If you're appearing panicky or accusatory in any way, they are unlikely to tell you and open up as to what's going on. So encourage them to let you know what's happened. Um, phone 111 or the poisons unit. Guys, hospital have got a poisons unit and you can also get the number from the internet. Um, even better still, get that number and write it up there so that you know where you're going to call should this happen um, in advance. Um, call them and explain what has happened. So my child's drunk the bubble bath 
and they will ask you details, they'll ask you to read the packaging and things, and they'll be able to tell you whether it is a cause for concern or whether you are fine. Okay, so um, get some advice and get it quickly and promptly. Um, if the casualty starts to become unconscious, um, you need to be ready to resuscitate with a protective face shield. And the other thing to say is encourage the casualty to stay still, not move around too much, because moving or running around will metabolise whatever they've taken that bit quicker and can make any reaction worse. If you find someone who's taken a corrosive substance of some sort, um, what you should do is do your best against income, but do your best to remove whatever it is around their mouth, protecting yourself. Whatever has burnt them will burn you or can burn you as well. So um, wear gloves if you can and just remove white ground carefully anything that is actually around their mouth. Um, if they have got some inside their mouth, encourage them to, with small sips of milk or water, to just swill it round and spit it out. You want them to remove it as quickly as you can. Um, if you suspect they have swallowed it, you may want to take advice on this, and obviously it depends as well as to what they've taken. But if it is a burning and corrosive substance, it's likely to be a good idea to take small sips of milk or water. Just very small sips to dilute it as it goes down. Never make them sick. It will have burnt on the way down and it will burn again on the way up. However, if they are sick and you're able to catch it, it might be helpful when you take them to hospital. If they have taken a corrosive substance, I would be phoning an ambulance. Um, get the ambulance on the way and that way you're not in any danger of driving them to the hospital and finding that their airway starts to swell because of the burning and it, things get more serious whilst you're in transit. So much better to phone an ambulance and get the paramedics to come and then they are in expert supervised hands whilst they are being transported to hospital. Always get medical advice if somebody has taken something. Always act as quickly as you possibly can. And take any packaging and evidence with you when you go to hospital too. I hope that's been helpful. That's Emma Hammett, the founder and CEO of First Aid for Life firstaidforlife.org.uk and um, the author of Burns, Falls and Emergency Calls. Many thanks.